You know, I, I grew up in a church that said, you know, you give 10%, period. So that's the goal, that's, if you get there, you're great, you're godly. Um, so I did that. And I did it faithfully, and sometimes I would give a little bit more if I felt guilty in a sermon. And um, But then as I began to study the scriptures more, I saw, uh, I think I'm supposed to do more than that. And um, so I started giving a little bit more, and the Lord just kept taking care of us. Um, but then the real change took place when I went to Africa the first time, and and I felt something for the people, and I loved the people. And it wasn't giving out of guilt, it wasn't giving out of anything more than want and love. It's like, wow, I would much rather build them a high school than buy a new truck. <laughs> you know, like that would give me much more joy because these are friends of mine now. And so that's when things started to change. And then when I look at it biblically, I go, yeah, and I think that's right. I don't think it's just God wants me to give for his glory, absolutely everything for his glory. But I, I don't see him detaching our human affections or even supernatural affections for people from our giving. I think he wants that. And I think that's the whole love piece. And that's when we just, I came home from Africa and said, uh, you know, honey, let's, Let's just see how much we can give away. Let's just figure it out. Let's start selling things. Let's, let's go nuts on this um, because I fall in love with these people. And as we started doing that and giving more and more, the Lord just blessed us more and more. Um, I mean, crazy things where I would sense like God wanting me to give $50,000, you know, the next year. And I think, well, that's about what I make. You know, like, how do you just give away? It's like, okay, Lord, help me. I want to do that then. And we were able to do it, you know? And then it was like, wow. But I think the Lord wants me to give 100000 next year. It's like, we didn't even make that. And it's just these crazy things. It's like, okay, let's just go for it. See what happens. And sure enough, we're able to do it. And then it was like, oh, no. I really think the Lord wants us to give a million dollars next year. And it's just like, wait, okay, now it's being, now we're getting silly here, okay? This is just stupid. You know, you're talking about a guy that's making 36 grand a year and within a couple years really believing God saying, I want you to give away a million. And you just go, okay, God, you can do anything. And sure enough, you know, I mean, this is just stupid. This is just ridiculous. Anyone that would follow and look at my life and, and see what God said and then see the results and go, eh, it's just coincidence. It, it's just ridiculous. Um, so God has always blessed when I've given and the more faith and the, I, I'm just getting more and more enjoyment out of it. Um, so I just do it more and more. And, and I'm not saying I can't be tempted um, by that because I can be tempted in any area. And so knowing that, what we did was we, we gave over the rights of crazy love to a, a charity, a charitable gift fund. So this way I knew I can't even touch it if I wanted to, just in case I change my mind later and get greedy and want to, you know, it was like, let's just hand it over so once I sign it, I don't have to be tempted by it, and yet we have control over it to give it to anyone we want, which is an absolute blast. Or any charity one, we can't just write a check to my mom. Um, it uh, has to go to... A charity charity so it's just it's a blast to just go oh they need a hospital there like, no way you know it's just so fun